morning guys it is early april and i'm gonna go pick up my uncle bob um and do what we did last year give a little video clip here if i can find it yeah nice cool bee, isn't it not bad yeah yeah we're gonna go chase some tulip bees. When we get on the lake, I'll show you how I rig and uh, jig for the tulip bees, and hopefully you get some tankers. Got a, a hot tip from uh, 30, 330 Maniac. Scott posts his picture here. Big shout out. Maybe we'll even see him on ice today. Uh, it's real early. It's like 5:30 in the morning. I got off work late, so give it a shot. Uh, early morning bite. Go pick up my uncle, and hopefully see you on the lake. And maybe we'll run into uh, Scott. Get a donut or something. Really hungry, tired. <laughs> Boy, just gonna do a panoramic here. Sunrise, haze on the lake. Not a breath of air. Perfect morning, I got like 22 degrees. We're gonna tulipy fish. Uncle Bob sitting there. I'm gonna get set up. See if we can't catch some of these. I think they're wherever they come in. Look, look at this guy coming. Uh -huh. What's going on, man? Beautiful morning out. Beautiful. It's a little cold now, but it's gonna warm up fast. You guys got a little bit of snow out here. Uh -huh. You guys got a little bit of snow. All right, this should be no surprise here. Come check out this guy. Looks like a good one too. Look at that rod bend. I've never seen somebody so coordinated real forward and backward as you. I've been I've been doing it for so long. Jeez, this thing's just falling. Look at that. Oh. Look at that fish. Yeah, that's the one that was over there. <laughs> <laughs> it it's crazy. I mean it can take it can honestly take like ten minutes to get them up. Look at that. There's a lot of weight there. Oh, heavy line you got. Six pound test. And then the um, between my spoon and my jig is eight pound fluorocarbon. Okay, yeah, mine's just a six all the way. This thing chased, it chased my jig up and down the water column for about five minutes. I missed it 37 times. Well, no, you get close when your uh, when your flasher comes to the, the yeah. ice. Yeah, I always wait. You know, with, with these ones, once the water starts going up and down, you know, you know they're close. You know then. you're close. They usually, displace displace a little bit, don't they? Yep. And usually when they get when they get very close to the hole, they kind of go, "Oh no, come on!" Oh. Friday, I should be chasing tulipies and panfish. Huh? I said Friday, I should be chasing nice. tulipies and panfish instead of uh, kayaking, but we'll see what happens. Get rid of this white stuff that's on top of the ice. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's, that's a. That's crazy. It is crazy how much these things fight. Must be getting close. Yeah, a little bit of water movement there. Yeah. Ooh. See. Mm -hmm. Don't don't be doing nothing crazy now. Slow it to settle down. You know you want to come up the hole. Not really, it looks 
split, but yeah, you don't want to get pinched off the ice, do you? No. Gosh. The problem is when they get turned around, they're just like, you know, they don't want to stop. And if you and if you try to horse these ones up, they snap you. They'll they'll break you off or straighten your hook out. That's no half pound tulipy. If it is, he's a fighter. Jeez. They just tur I mean, they just crank for the bottom. That's what makes them so fun. I it think is. this this is one of the most underrated ice fishing experiences. Absolutely. I mean, it's just digging. It is. It's just, and I'm, and I, I do this just to try and get his head turned around. Because if you can get their head turned around, then you can start them up. Yeah, then they'll start coming up and up and up. But once they, but, I mean, you've had that rod bending the whole time. Yeah. Constant tension. It's not like you're uh, letting them. Come on, fish. Oh dang. This must be a really big one. Here he's starting to come. That's what makes them so fun too. You, you get to fight them versus, uh, yeah. you know, you hit something else up from 10 feet of water and it, you yank it up and you're done. We're starting to get a little bit of water. Ooh, there's my now. spoon. There's a spoon. Ooh, it's a big one. Oh yeah, it's a big one. Bubbles. Bubbles. Look at this. Dude, oh look at this my tool. gosh. <laughs> oh. Did you see the size of this, Bob? Are you kidding me? That is, wipe off his eyeball. Oop. That is a, oh. that is just a chunk. Oh gosh. I'm gonna get a picture of you yeah. too. Come on. He doesn't feel real big. Huh? He doesn't feel real big. Okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna horse him though. Well, maybe they, they like to pretend like they're not big. Are you rolling here, Jacob? Yeah. Okay. I. He's probably bigger than you think. Come on, friend. There you go. Yeah, he might be okay. He must have been right under the ice. No, 25. 40, okay. 25 feet. Oh, okay, he's coming right up. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, right. a nice, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's my biggest ever. Oh, boy. There you go. You come right up. Look at that. Ah, I'm going to have a picture taken here shortly. Sure. I thought I better go over my setup since I usually don't do that. It's got 8 pound mono, a wicked reel, long stem, my uh, 32 medium light wicked uh, Widowmaker rod from 13 Fishing. I got just a little VMC tungsten jig. I don't think color matters, I got a little pink. And I rig my wax worms wacky rig style right in the middle, let them flop. I don't know how you rig yours. I actually don't use wax worms. You use soft plastics, don't you? Yep, so I, I got a glow, plain, glow pink flash champ spoon. I've done both. If I run a second line, I'll run wax worms. Mm -hmm. And just that 18 inch um, on our fluorocarbon leader. It's probably five, six pound leader. It seems like big, uh, big long jigs in the water column attract them and then just little jiggles. Yeah. No, they don't seem like they're aggressive today. Like uh, I had a school there and I paused and he just little and I set the hook and he was there versus before I take a long sweep so he'd swing up and they would be on. Yeah. Well, you know, there was about there was about five or six years in a row where my dad and I trapped all winter long together. And uh God, one winter we we, we trapped muskrat from opening day pad trapping all the way until close close the season. And most that's the most muskrat I've ever caught. We caught like fourteen hundred and some. <laughs> It a lot of skinning. My dad, every every time we'd get home, we'd have to skin everything. Sometimes, most of the time, we'd flesh them out. But if my dad was feeling generous, we'd roll them up in a bread bag, and you know, he'd say, "All right, well, we'll do them Saturday." You know. Yeah. Well, then Saturday, you know, you get 30 more or 40 more. Well, now you got 70 to do. Yeah. <laughs> and then on top of that, we were we were skinning and stretching all the all the muskrats for for Schleben in Detroit Lakes. They're, I think they're paying us 50 cents a piece. I'm just like dad. There's one. There's one up higher. Come on. Get him. Got him. Came out of nowhere. Like five feet. It's quiet for a while. Talk, like talking about trapping. I know. This Fish. thing feels really big. No. I don't know. Oh, oh, he's oh. decent. Decent. Yeah. Look at that. A couple pounds. Northern was 
Oh yeah, he's got a bite mark. He's got a big bite mark on him. I think it's... There's got to be some decent pike in here then. Oh yeah, he's got a big bite mark on him. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. you're fun. Oh yeah, you look go. at the other side. It's all scratched oh, up. Oh yeah, look at that. Sweet. Yeah, just sitting here talking with a couple of trappers over here. Talking muskrats and out of the blue, there they come. Lower. Bunch of them higher. Yep. Oh yeah. No, I had I had one on me. Twenty seven feet. Oh yeah, they're they're here. They're over here. They were gosh, and they they come up there right on my jig. Where I got it. Get him, Bob. I got I got one on my jig. Great big one, Bob. Boy, when they come through, they sure come through, don't they? They do. Oh, boy, he's really fighting, isn't he? Yeah, it's a dope. Okay, they're gone over here. I gotta come look. Must oh, be boy. close. Oh, I see him. Oh, I see your flashes, and I see. Oh, yeah, I see one of those. Oh, yeah, he looks big. Do you want me to scoop him? Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh it's a big one. Jeez, that's a really big one. Oh, look at the size of that bee. Oh, man. <laughs> that's going to be a four pounder. Oh, holy smokes. <laughs> look at that. I'm going to just get a, get a good, uh, see if I can get, it might be my thumbnail actually. Oh, look at that. Pretty good one. That that's thing's a big huge. fish. That thing's huge. So look at the size of the mouth on that thing. <laughs> You, he wasn't going nowhere. Just a little teardrop. Yeah. There you go. Let's put him next to your other one. See how big. Oh, man. Look at him. Look big. Oh, he's four pounds. Look. Holy smokes, Bob. Yeah. That was a dandy. That's a dandy. It's quite as big, though, isn't it? Not quite as deep, but the thing's huge. It is huge. <gasps> yeah, that would be such a bad thing to get to some smallies on Friday. Oh, I got something big on me. Come on. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna drag a little bit. Right at the zero hour. <laughs> I'm about ready to pack up. I got to go to work in like five minutes. <laughs> I love toolies. I know. Gotta thank Scott. I'll link your channel too, Scott, in the description. Awesome, man. Thanks. I'm be on these fish today. Super clear water. I saw him swim by a couple times. Oh yeah, that's a better one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Peel and drag. This is what I come out here for. Yeah, this is, this is a big <laughs> one. <laughs> Get my gloves off. So wet. You got a net? Can get him in. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Might have to get a measure. Oh. He must have pointed his head up. Yeah, it's good. Come on, here he comes. Oh yeah, that's a tanker. Oh, that's dude. a tanker. It's an absolute tank. There you go. Oh, oh you got man! Your, you got your giant. Oh man, that's okay. He's got my other line. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Definitely gonna get a picture taken with this oh, one. Oh yeah. Are they? Look at that thing. Hold that bad boy up. Oh. Look at that color on that Look thing. Wow, well, I really thank you, Scott, for this day. Hey, no That's problem, awesome. man. Alright, this guy's we'll have to get a little snow to get pretty accurate, but 21 and a quarter. He's the longest of the day. I don't know if he's fatter than yours though. Okay, I'll tear it out. Got it. Settle down, settle down, settle down. I'm hugging him, I'm hugging him. 
<laughs> I'm hugging him. Man, that's a fish. I'm gonna smell like a giant tulip bee. Stop it. <laughs> if it would just stop flopping for one second. There, I got the hook up in there. There. Four, six, five. Four, six, five. Four, six, five. Holy smokes. Dude. That's a huge tulip bee. That's a monster. It's the biggest one I've seen. He's got. Oh. That thing's a monster. Put me on these monsters. We gotta get our pictures taken of these things. You know what? I'm gonna wrap it up. Like I said, uh, link in Scott's channel below. We're gonna get a picture taken. I gotta get packed up, ready for work. And uh, let my uncle fish a few more minutes, see if you can get one. But that's probably gonna do it. Thanks, guys. Subscribe.